been almost four months since Emilio Nevada passed away and he is still being remembered this fall semester. His alma mater, Texas State University, has put together an exhibit in his honor. Erica Hernandez was there as his brother, Raulito, got a chance to see the display for the first time. It was in the early 80s when Emilio Navaira was a student at Texas State University. He loved the school, he loved the people here, and he loved the staff, and you know, uh, I think he would just be honored. With the help of Hispanic entertainment archivist Ramon Hernandez, the school has put together an exhibit as part of the Whitliff collections inside the campus library. When they saw what I had, they said, would you be willing to create an exhibit or two down the line? And here we are, the first one's Emilio. As Raulito sees the exhibit, every picture, every item brings back memories. The color wash Wranglers there. <laughs> yeah, I remember that's early 90s. <laughs> Those memories take Ramon to the time Emilio was trying to figure out what his look would be when he started his solo career. He preferred the, the hip hop look, the rock and roll look, so the leather and the tight pants. Emilio would end up going with the cowboy western look and would later get sponsored by Stetson and Wrangler. With this exhibit now available, many generations can see the many stages of Emilio's career and the impact he had on Texas music. To have something like this at a major university in Texas, it just feels good. It feels good knowing that my brother is a legend. Now this exhibit is open to the public and will be here until December 16th. In San Marcos, Erica Hernandez, KSAT 12 News. Coming up tomorrow at 6, we're going to hear more from Raulito about how the family is doing after Emilio's death and what he is working on now.